What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are actually going to be going through all the specialist customization that I could find in the reveal trailer and just a few of the other assets that I got my hands on just to get a bit of a better understanding of how much customization there is in regards to these specialists. We're going to be covering the four specialists that are confirmed in the game and then if you've watched my video from the other week about some of the unconfirmed specialists then we will touch on those as well and if you haven't seen that video then that one might be worth checking out after this one. If you guys do end up enjoying the video then be sure to leave a like down below to support the channel and if you are new around here then feel free to subscribe so you don't miss out on any more upcoming Battlefield 2042 content. So anyway we're going to be starting off with Sundance as she is the first character that we see in the trailer and this is actually the only skin that we see of her in the reveal trailer. So I'd imagine this is likely her default skin with this sort of black and green colouring. I've looked all over the trailer and this is really the only skin that I could find from her in this one. Now with that being said in the gameplay trailer from last week we do see a third person view of her and this does look a little bit darker than this one. So this could be like a blacked out version of it or honestly it could just be because the lighting is a bit darker on hourglass because of the storm and therefore this one could just be the same skin. So it's hard to tell but those are two possible skins for Sundance either way with the first one likely just being the default one like I said. Moving on we have Webster McKay. This is his default skin that you guys can see on screen but then we do actually get a look at another skin on the manifest section of the trailer. You can see on this appearance that he's actually now wearing a helmet rather than just a cap and the helmet has a visor which is turned up and then he also also has this blue rope on his back which I assume is just the rope for the grapple hook which is a cool touch and finally you can also see that the Canadian maple leaf that was on his hat is now on his left arm instead so that pretty much confirms this is definitely McKay and not just another white dude who looks pretty similar to him. Once again I looked all throughout the trailer and I couldn't really see any other skins for McKay. We do see this same one again at the end as well as his regular skin so it seems like these are the only two that we can see as of right now. Now I should say before we go through the rest of the skins that just because we only see a few for certain characters that doesn't mean that those are the only skins for those characters obviously there's going to be plenty that we just don't see in the trailer so for any characters where there's only like one or two skins that doesn't mean they're not going to have extra skins it just means that we didn't really see them in the trailer moving on we then have casper and you can see his default skin here with the sort of half ghillie suit type of outfit and we do actually see this briefly in the trailer during the kaleidoscope scene here but there is another skin right after that actually that i believe could be casper it's kind of hard to tell obviously but this guy does have that same thing where his shoulder are kind of covered in a different material than the rest of his outfit in the same way that Casper's ghillie suit only really covers his shoulders. So I could be way off here but I'm just going to assume that that is Casper judging by the overall look. He looks like a recon type character and he has his face covered with a similar overall look so that definitely could be another Casper skin right there. Now another character that is once again unconfirmed as of right now is Delta or Espinosa depending on which one ends up being his true name but this guy was shown pretty prominently in the trailer and each time it was like an overly focused scene on him so we got a great look at some of his skins. The first one was from this section where he took McKay's dog tags and this one looks pretty awesome. He's wearing some sort of like heavy armor. It looks like the armor that those bomb disposal soldiers wear or even something like a juggernaut from Call of Duty. And then he has a gas mask and a balaclava. So yeah, he definitely looks pretty awesome but we also do see a second skin as well. Just before the tornado arrives, we see him looking up at it and you can see in this clip, he's still wearing roughly the same armor. However, his head looks very different. He's got a helmet on this time with some sort of white balaclava and then what looks to be some kind of like pilot mask or something. That looks like the front of a fighter pilot's mask that they use to help breathe at high altitudes but it could just be a different looking gas mask or something so I'm not really too sure but again he just looks awesome in this clip and I think he's definitely going to end up being a fan favourite although that being said he also has a right shield so he could also be the most hated specialist in the game. Now lastly for the confirmed specialist we have Falk who is the support specialist and we actually see three different skins for her in this trailer. The first one we see is right as the robot dog deploys and we only see this one from behind so there's no real confirmation that this is her but you can see the blue disposable gloves here which are an identifying look about all of her skins. Every single one of them seems to have those gloves which I think is done intentionally. I think we'll come to find out that each specialist probably has a few things about them that clearly shows which character it is regardless of their skin. The next folk skin that we see is on top of the skyscraper on Hourglass. She's looking much more protected here with the helmet and she just looks much more militarized overall. And you can tell this is her because of that Surrette pistol attached to her front here. That is her specialty gadget in the game. We actually see her in this skin once again at the end of the trailer as she's running away from the tornado. Now, her third skin can be seen just before that. This is somewhat similar to the last one in that it's also much more militarized, but this one is much greener. And again, she has those blue gloves on as well. And you can also see once again that Surrette pistol attached to her. So like I said, there are definitely going to be a few identifying features of each specialist that will help us know who's who regardless of which skin 
skin they're wearing. Now, as for Boris, I could be blind, but I think we just didn't see any of poor old Boris throughout the trailer, which is definitely a little bit odd, but yeah, the only skin we currently know for Boris is the default one provided by the DICE assets that they sent to us, so we'll have to wait and see a bit more when it comes to Boris. Now, before we finish up here, I have a few more skins that are seen multiple times throughout the trailer, as well as some that we see in the assets that DICE sent us, but these are all from specialists that we actually have no confirmation of just yet in terms of names. These guys will definitely end up being specialists as they're clearly different from the regular like AI soldiers that we see throughout the trailer. But like I said, we have no idea of their names or anything, unlike Delta and Sundance, who we clearly see in the gameplay trailer. Firstly, we have this guy here in the manifest scene who I mentioned in the trailer breakdown. It looks like he has some sort of night vision goggles or something similar, and we actually get a better look at him later on in the trailer. So the fact that we see him twice definitely says to me that he will be a specialist. Now, moving on, we see another unconfirmed specialist here who has these weird like antenna type things on her head. She reminds me of Mantis from Guardians of the Galaxy, to be honest, but obviously it's not part of her head. But yeah, again, we see her later in the trailer and we see an even clearer picture of what that is on her head. I believe from one of the assets that it could literally just be like goggles that are folded up or some kind of visor or something, but it is pretty hard to tell. One other thing I wanted to point out is the N symbol on her, which stands for no pat. Anyone with that is all but confirmed to be a specialist. So yeah, she will definitely be making an appearance as a specialist in the game. And we have seen her in some of the assets that DICE sent us as well. Now in that same scene as before, we also see this guy who again, you'll notice has the N symbol, except it is red this time. This guy seems to have some like radio device or something electronic attached to his back anyway. And he also has like a tablet kind of thing attached to his arm. So this could be some sort of recon type specialist where he's gathering information in one way or another. It's impossible to tell, but yeah, this guy is definitely a specialist. And I must say this skin is definitely pretty awesome. Now in one of the infographics that DICE sent us, you can see the skin here with the same radio skin on his back or whatever that is. So that seems to be a skin for the same specialist here. And I should also point out that the character in the middle is surely Casper as well. I actually forgot to mention this earlier when I was talking about him, but that definitely looks like Casper here as well. There's also then the character on the left there. I haven't seen her at all throughout either trailer. So I have absolutely no idea who that is, but it is definitely another specialist as well. So we really only have a few left that we don't really know of. Now, the very last specialist skin that I know of is once again an unconfirmed specialist who it looks like he's the one who can call in that robot dog, but I could be wrong. And this skin is called the Midnight Skin as it is obviously all blacked out. This guy is, I assume, another recon type of specialist just because he looks pretty mysterious and sort of stealthy, but I have no actual information on him at all. I couldn't see him in any of the trailers. So we're just going to have to wait and sort of keep an eye on these last few remaining characters. And as soon as we get any more footage or anything like that, we'll slowly be able to piece the puzzle together. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this one. If I missed any skins, then definitely let me know down in the comments and let us all know down below which skin you thought looked the coolest. For me, it is absolutely the Delta skin with the black gas mask, but let me know which is your own favorite down in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to leave a like down below. And if you are new, then consider subscribing to the channel with those notifications on. Thank you all very much for watching. You guys have a great day and I'll see you all out there on the battlefield. Thank you.